Hello America. Welcome to Sender Rope TV. I'm Kurt. I'm going to talk to you about the real news. I'm going to read some headlines here. We've got uh, today's USA Today. It's Friday the 30th of January 2009. Um, big headlines. Illinois governor thrown out. Um, I wonder if he'll actually ever be charged with a crime. Somebody, uh, I subscribe to her videos, CV122, something like that. Anyway, um, she mentioned that uh, the day before he was charged, arrested, whatever, hauled off, um, that he had suspended business with Bank of America in the state of Illinois. That, I think, made it on the back page somewhere. We all heard about it. But um, funny coincidence that the next day he's, he's um, busted. Uh, I have no doubt that he's a crook. Uh, most Illinois congressmen and um, senators and politicians are, but that's a separate issue. Um, consumers cut uh, credit payments. So uh, those of you out there are probably paying less of, of your payment than you were previously. So if you normally were paying 100 over the minimum, maybe you're paying 50 over the minimum, maybe you're not even able to make the minimum. Um, so that's, that's true. And what, I'm, uh, what I'm doing is I want to show you these, these headlines, and then I want to talk, about you, talk to you about what's not in the news and what should be in the news. So that's, uh, that's, the, that's the main section of the, of the paper. Uh, USA Today. Uh, we got education chief. Stimulus aid could give jo schools needed jolt. Um, I'm sorry, but this uh, supposed stimulus. It, I thought we were being sold this this uh, story about the stimulus being there to um, help uh, the economy. Who cares what happens? With, you know, honestly, seriously. Eh, nothing important on that page. Here we go. Old ways cloud dawn of a new bipartisan era. $1.2 trillion. Now, I did another video and I, I put a link in, in there with some information about what is actually in this stimulus package that passed the House, despite a good amount of opposition. Um, and now it's on to the Senate where those jokers who were all bought and paid for um, will pass it. So there's some, some interesting stuff there. A lot of money being spent, a lot, a lot, a lot of money. Here's uh, something that ticked me off my home state of Virginia. The state of Virginia spent $500,000 busing people to the inauguration. In this economy, you've got to be kidding me. Well, but they did. Now let's see. The last page I want to talk about. More layoffs set stage for higher unemployment rate. Airlines in financial crisis, Aviation Group says. And then they talk about, you know, the Super Bowl advertising. I guess it costs $2 million to make a, a Super Bowl video. It costs $3 million to broadcast uh, the average commercial. Um, wow. I mean, that's, that's a lot of money. But you know, you got to entertain people. You got to keep them happy. What is not in the news? What you won't find in here is blaming the people who are really to blame. Part of it is the American people for spending. But the other part of it is the enslavement of the American people by the bankers and the Wall Street folks and the big corporations. And I'm, I'm not one of these, you know, all corporations are evil. But when our entire system, the, you know, the matrix, is made up of giant conglomerates of corporations, um, and they are working to enslave you. There's an, I saw an article in here about the Freddie Mac is going to allow people to rent their home back after they get foreclosed on. Well, isn't that nice of Freddie Mac? They're going to let you rent the home that you never owned anyway you were paying rent on in the form of property tax. But hey, how wonderful. After they, instead of kicking you out of your home, they're going to let you stay there and pay rent to them. That's really nice. What you're not going to see in here is Alan Greenspan and Ben Bernanke and the policies of the Federal Reserve, which are the reason all of these bad stories are happening. But instead of giving you the big picture, they're giving you microeconomic issues. Banks, this bank failing, uh, airline industry failing, automotive industry having trouble, schools not being able to pay their bills. 
states not being able to make, uh, actually refund you the money they stole from you throughout the year. And they're going to send you an IOU instead, California. So that's what needs to be in here. That's what needs to be in the paper. But that's not what you're going to find because these papers are yellow journalists. Yellow journalism, it, it, it's, it's colored, it's, it's, it's just something that's not right. If you start to read this and you, you think, whoa, is me, the world is falling apart, but, and, and it is, <laughs> but what you're not going to see is actually why it's falling apart. I, I want to challenge you. If, you. if you've never thought about this before, you, if you're hearing this going, get out of here. It can't really be like that. There's a movie I want you to watch. You can find it on Google Video. You can find the whole thing. It's called America Freedom to Fascism. You need to watch that movie. And you need to get, get a handle on what's really going on. And when you do, you will walk away from that with your mouth hanging open. And you will see something, um, something unifying in Bush, Clinton, Bush, Obama, in all of their presidencies, in all of the government, in all the legislation like the Patriot Act and all of the, the bad legislation that's been getting put out in the last few years, you will see something that will frighten you. And that's good. Because instead of being afraid of these, these fake numbers and these, these cooked up stories, you should be afraid of uh, the fact that you're not prepared for what's coming. Um, I'm not going to get off into the whole conspiracy theories of everything. But you, you need to start looking out for yourself. You need to stop relying on the government to take care of you. They are not your friend. And you need to start waking up to what's really going on. And the way to do that is to educate yourself. You have no excuse when the government or whoever comes kicking your door down because you weren't ready. You have no excuse. You better get ready. So I, I'm just, I encourage you, check those things out.